Hello, my name is Matthew. Welcome back to this uh, short series on R. We're going to uh, take off where we left the last video. So we've got some data, we've got it plotted. We know how to index into the data. What we're going to be doing now is learning how to fit a fit a model to this data so that we can then plot the line on the graph. So previously we were going using uh, lines to add just to join each plot plotted point. So we could do lines data one, well, let's just uh, do a shortcut, lines data. So here you can see that we've connected each of the points on the graph, but what we would like to do is try to fit a smooth curve to the graph. So let's uh, clear that. How do you do that? So first, because we're going to be uh, typing this a few times, we're just going to uh, rename our variables a little bit for easy, ease of typing. So we're just going to assign the first column of data to x and the second column of data to y. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is fit a model. Now, how do you do that? So it's, again, we're going to assign it to a variable. We'll call it mod for model. Now, lm allows you to try to predict the shape of the model, and it will do its best to uh, give you those values. So we're going to try, first of all, just uh, y tilde x means that we're thinking that y is a linear function of x. Okay, so we'll go control enter to do that. Now we want to plot that on our graph. So to do that, to do that, we're going to have to create a new variable and use the predict function. The predict function takes the model and gives us the predicted values for it so we can graph them. So control enter. Now we can just use lines like we did before, but we put in the predicted values. Control enter. Now you see we have a straight line here and it doesn't fit the data particularly well, but it is the best fit line if this data was linear. So the problem we have is that our model isn't good enough. So let's try a better model, call it mod2. Again, lm, y tilde. Now let's try x squared. Now normally you'd want to type it in like this, just a y tilde x squared, but the uh, there's lots of the lm function has different meanings for some of these special characters. So if we want to use the regular meaning for it, we have to do i in brackets around it. Okay, so there's our, our y is proportional to x squared model. Again, we have to predict the values so that we can graph them. Lines, P2, and we're going to use a different color just so that it shows up a little bit nicer. We'll use blue. Okay, now we're adding the blue prediction. So this is the closest that it could get with an x squared prediction. It's still not even close to what we want, but it's starting to get a curve to it, so it's kind of nice. Let's try a third model. This time, we're going to try proportional to x to the fifth, and we'll see how that does. Ooh, 
we'll use a color of uh, red this time. All right, so that's looking a lot nicer. You can see that it's fitting the data pretty closely, although it is a bit high on the low end. And you can kind of see if this data was to continue progressing this way, probably this line would be pushing a little bit too far into the left. So it's still not a perfect fit, but it's a lot better than the linear line. All right, that's probably enough for this video. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was useful, and I'll see you guys next time. Putting them to face just means that I can heal. He's not going to be doing much. Hey, okay, well, I'm perfectly fine with drawing cards, so... go and we may as well clear his Malakut. He's got no spells left that can hit him in the face and whenever he's attacked it's gonna